Don't worry about me, worry about yourself. Ooh, I got that shit on. Mata chama chama la la chaka ego. Hey, que YouTube video ya ka. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the other lady, but the only no lady. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you're a turning subscriber, welcome back. So guys, I just hit 1,500 subscribers a few seconds ago. I'm ecstatic. I'm so overjoyed. I just like to say hi to the new subbies and the subbies that have been there for me, with me throughout this long four years. We are slowly but surely making it, guys. Thank you guys for the continuous support, for the continuous love, for continuous feedback. So yeah, so just to celebrate, just to celebrate, I got the all-time fave, I should his. I'm gonna pour a little drinky drinky. And just to say thank you to 1,500 subscribers. The flavor. So without wasting any more time, I just like to get into the video. So as you guys can tell by the title of the video today, I'll just be talking about the realities of YouTube, my journey, the truth about YouTube that people don't know about and the truth and my truth basically good so today i'm not happy at all actually this video i hate to catch my new service like this i'm actually going to clap back today so i did want to touch on this topic a few months ago but from a different perspective and today i'm gonna touch on it but at the same time, I'm going to be clapping back. So I'm getting word that I don't really care about the channel. I'm no longer consistent. I'm not. I should try different content. And this is all from people who don't have YouTube channels, who've never started a channel, who can't even be consistent on one of their social media. Let me tell you a bit by my, about myself. My name is Naledi Mkade. I'm a content creator, YouTuber, student and beauty consultant that was a mouthful as it is so when people say that oh you don't care about the channel anymore you're not consistent guys i have a lot on my plate i don't want to lie i have so much on my plate when i get a little bit of time on my off day i vlog i try to give you guys the little bit of content that I have. So before becoming this multifaceted human being, I was just a student creating content on Instagram. I loved the idea of being behind the camera, looking good, like there was n not a lot to Instagram at that time. It was just you posting a picture, you creating a, a more polished look, the look than who you really are. So I really liked uh, that aspect of TikTok. When COVID hit, I then decided, you know what? Instagram is not enough for me. I think I need to start a channel with all this free time on my hands. So then the channel began. This was in 2021, 2020. I'll just check the facts for you. So this was in 2020 when I decided to start this YouTube channel. And I must say the journey has been very, very long and very hard. There are a lot of people that I started with that haven't made it this far. Being on YouTube takes a lot of dedication. Recording and posting on days that you know you're only going to get 10 views. It's very disheartening also along the journey where you keep on pushing, you keep on creating and you're not getting the response that you are looking for. That Fortunately for some people, né, when they get on the, on the platform, they don't need to do a lot. They already have followings from different platforms. I didn't have a big following from my platform. On Instagram, when I started this YouTube channel, on Instagram, I literally had like maybe eight or 9,000 followers. Then I started this channel. Then let's fast forward to two years ago when TikTok started booming. Then I get on TikTok. So now I start creating content on TikTok. Then again, the word is, Oh, you, you're supposed to advertise your, 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 your channel on TikTok. But guys, this ties into the first clapback, the first point I made. P 
people who are not even consistent on one of their social media apps, social media platforms, are giving me advice on how to social media. <laughs> you know, having all of these three platforms actually has done so much for me. I can show you a different person on each of these platforms. So, yes, you might see that I'm not consistent on YouTube, that I'm uploading more on TikTok. But on TikTok, I'm showing you a 15-second video that literally could have been made me walking somewhere or me just um, having a study break or having a good day and off day and I had those 15 seconds to record. I had to be con I'm consistent on TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube. So I don't want you, I don't know what you guys want me to do. So now here I am addressing the I don't care about the channel anymore. You are no longer consistent. Oh, you should do reaction videos. Oh, you should do it. Get ready with me. You should do this. You should do that. A friend of mine today watched my videos. She was like, hmm, there's something off about your content. You don't care anymore. You sound so bored. The last vlog I watched, you didn't even give us a, a room tour. Guys, the last vlog I posted was the same place I, po I, I visit every now and again. Every now and then. So, creating the same a room tour of the same place over and over and over again, to me, does not make sense. By sounding bored, she probably meant that, oh, it's pr probably because I've been there before. It's no longer exciting to me. Hence, I always say that um, now and then, subscribers do need to wait for me to upload. Subscribers do need to wait for content creators to upload a new video. Because some things to us seem so repetitive. We've done it five, six, seven, eight times that we think that you guys are no longer interested in that. And we can see by the numbers. Guys, we can literally see by the numbers. Every other day or every end of the month, YouTube sends you your analytics for the month. How many people viewed, how long they viewed, how many subscribers, what video did well, what is your top 10, what is your average watch hours. I cannot be creating content for one person and the other person feels like, no, you've done this a million times. I'm not going to watch. I can't keep creating the same content. I'm going to see through the analytics that mm, my subscribers are no longer interested in this. And say now I do do another um, room tour of the same place I was at. I can literally see the average watch time where you guys click on where you guys click off. So all in all, this is a result of how the audience watches and this determines the content we create. If I see that a video is not doing well, a new video is not doing well, the, the feedback is not good, why should I continue with that type of content? Why? Yes, one person might feel like, oh, this is her bread and butter. This is what they like to watch. But another will feel like there's no growth on this channel. We're not moving forward. We keep on doing the same thing over and over and over again. Then they unsubscribe. And what's the point of having this channel if I don't show you the good and the bad times? The days when I don't actually have anything to do. The days when... I, I just clean, I just cook, I just make lunch for the following day. And I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't give me feedback. Um, what do they call it? I almost said creative criticism. Yeah. Yes, constructive criticism. I'm not saying that you guys shouldn't let me know, hey, this would be nice for the channel, this would be nice for the channel. But when I do create that content, be mindful. Be mindful, ladies. Be very demure. <laughs> be mindful that for some people, that's not what they would like to watch. That's not why they subscribed. Yes, I could do story times like I always do that do well. But guys, I'm not the same person I was three, four years ago. I don't 
see boys anymore i don't fly out to random places i don't entertain any boys unless they're worth entertaining i don't have fun nice um story times like i used to i can't now come out and create fake content or portray a fake image that i can't uphold that i will end up not being able to maintain on this channel if you go to the bio of this channel you will see my lady graham lifestyle fashion and travel hence doing reaction videos get ready with me or what's in my bags or smash your passes is not really the direction that i wanted to go with this channel hence i ask you guys to please respect that and if i do want to do something that's out of my comfort zone my instagram was there the comment section is there i always say underneath the bio um of the video that explains what the video is about or if i need to tag anybody if i need to link anything at the bottom i always say for suggestions please email or dm me for collaborations please email or dm me but guys i cannot create content that doesn't align with the vision of this channel in closing i've always wanted to answer this question i've always wanted to answer this question guys i've been getting this question ever since i started youtube ever since you know i think people they don't understand how youtube works they really don't they think everybody on youtube is getting paid guys i'm not getting paid on youtube i tried to do a campus run like maybe a year ago before i got my job i tried to do like a campus interview and the mo the question i got the most was how much are you getting paid oh you're gonna use us to get paid on youtube oh you're getting paid on youtube that's why you're asking around for subscribers no i'm not getting paid on youtube i'm doing all of this out of my pocket with my little jab with my money from my parents from money for the boys yes i am doing all of this out of my pocket guys and i've been creating content for the past four years without getting paid on youtube to get paid on youtube you need to reach a maximum watch um a maximum of four thousand watch hours consistently if i'm not mistaken then you need to reach a, a minimum of one thousand subscribers and that is hard as you guys can see, I've only reached 1,500 subscribers. So I'm literally halfway there. I'm halfway there. I'm yet to get the 4,000 watch hours. That's the truth. And that is just the truth about my YouTube journey. Not everybody's YouTube journey is going to be the same. There are some people who just upload and the next day they pop off and the YouTube channel is going well. And all I can say is congratulations to you. Good for you, baby. Good for you. But unfortunately, my story was not like that or is not like that. I'm still fighting to this day to get monetized. I'm still fighting to this day to get a consistent 4,000 watch hours. So the next time you try to give me some YouTube advice, start a channel, let it pop off, and then come back to me and then tell me how to do it. Because at this point, I'm only taking advice from people who have YouTube channels. Oh, and I heard that my videos end abruptly. Do I need to say goodbye at every video? It's not like you guys watch until the end of the video. I know. If the video is 45 minutes, you guys click off at 38 minutes. You even skip through the intro. You skip through the scenic views. The, the, the. 
the views from the six guys we know we know all of this information so yeah guys i hope my new subscribers stay and my old subscribers keep enjoying and i just like to say thank you guys man 1500 subscribers it's been a long road it's been a long journey four years guys can you guys imagine four years and i've been consistent 92 videos 92 videos i'm sure i would have been on 100 and something if i didn't delete my old videos but yeah guys thank you guys for watching don't forget to like subscribe until the next one